and welcome to another cozy vlog. Today we're going to be doing some work in the kitchen and I want to show you some new low waste stuff that I got to add to my kitchen collection. We just had a live stream earlier so thank you so much to everybody who joined me for that and if you sent me a package I opened it during that live stream <laughs> if, I, if I've received it anyway and I thought I'm going to be cleaning up the house this evening so why not make a video too. I can't help myself y'all. I just love vlogging. I just love sharing things with you. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I did get some lovely New Zealand coffee from a subscriber. Thank you so much, Nix. And I'm going to put this in the fridge because I've already opened it. And I'm going to pour myself another coffee of this because it is delicious. My fridge... My fridge is overflowing with coffee, okay? Because <laughs> I got so much from my subscribers and I appreciate it so much. We're gonna have so many different coffees to taste over the coming weeks. So yeah, it's time for a refill, even though it's... Why am I looking around for a clock? Like there's a clock in here that actually works. I think it's like 5.30 p.m. So this is all the coffee I'm gonna have for the day. I usually go to sleep around 2 a.m., to be honest with you. So I should be good if this is my last cup of the day. So I have to thank my subscriber who recommended Swedish dishcloths to me because I ordered some and I absolutely love them. I found out that there is a company in my state in Colorado and they make these Swedish dish dishcloths and they it's called Swede dishcloths. So Swedish cloths, I guess. There's the name of the company. If you live in Colorado, might want to check them out. I ordered uh, just the plain colored cloths because they were less expensive. So I got 10 of these for $20. And each one of them can be washed in the washing machine up to 200 times. So I think it says some, somewhere here, they're made from sustainable wood pulp cellulose and 100% natural cotton. Together, these two fibers make Swedish cloths, the most eco-friendly multi-use cleaning cloth available. For the best results, wash your dishcloths on the top rack of your dishwasher. If you wash them in the clothes washer, air dry for best longevity. Do not put them in the actual clothing dryer. And they can be sanitized by boiling in hot water or placing in the microwave on high for 30 to 60 seconds. So yes, I am going to be using these to replace paper towels and sponges in my kitchen. Now I'm still going to be using paper towels for some things. Uh, the things that I can think of off the top of my head are pet messes. You know, if an animal has an accident or coughs up a hairball. Um, that's not something I want to use these for because I'm going to be using these on my dishes and sink and stuff. So I will still use paper towels for that. But it should significantly decrease our paper towel use. And then... Um, Another thing I'm going to use paper towels for is to clean the toilet. I haven't been able to figure out any way that I am comfortable with a reusable method for a toilet cleaner, so I am just going to use paper towels for that. And I'm okay with that because I am all about reducing my consumer waste, not completely eliminating it because I just don't think that's possible for me or for most people out there. But maybe I can inspire you to sort of look at ways in your life in your kitchen, in your home, that you can reduce. Don't feel like you have to be perfect, 100% zero waste. Anything that you can do to reduce waste is gonna be helpful to the environment and probably for you financially as well because now we're not gonna have to buy paper towel rolls all the time because I can just reuse these dishcloths. They also have really pretty prints that you can buy, but you only get three of those for $10, so I opted for the solid so I could get five for $10. And I'm not, a, I, this is not a sponsored post, y'all. I'm not affiliated with this company. It's just something I'm trying out and thought I would share with you. And I will link to them down below if you want to check it out. But it's not an affiliate link or anything. I had to take my uh, jacket off because I was getting a little warm in here. So now what I want to do is I just have a few dishes I have to put in the dishwasher. Um, I loaded it earlier and it's full of dirty dishes. But I have a few more I want to add. So I'm going to pull these out and you can see it's pretty much full, but I have a little bit of room for the few dishes I have left. So I'm just going to rinse these off 
And then I have one of my Swedish dishcloths here. Oh, I also got a scrub mommy. They did not have scrub daddies at my store, but they had scrub mommies. So I went ahead and grabbed me one, and I have to say, I really love this so far. You can also sanitize this in the dishwasher. So I'm gonna be replacing my scrubbies and sponges with this and the Swedish dishcloths. So actually, I think I'm gonna use this one uh, for these dishes. So I just like to scrub off my straws, my reusable straws, before I put them in the dish washer. Because sometimes they get like coffee on them and stuff. And same, things with, same thing with my coffee cups. They'll get like these rings in them because I just leave them sitting here with coffee in them. Um, so I like to kind of scrub these out. <laughs> this barely fits. These scrub mommies are big. They are large. So just kind of scrub that out to get the ring out before I put it uh, in the dishwasher. All right, I've got a dog bowl that has something like stuck in it. So, oh, that came right out with the scrub mommy. Thank you, scrub mommy. And then just gonna, I just, I'm just using it to scrub everything down and it's working really well. I really like it. I like that it's reusable and you can sanitize it. I like it very much. I'm still using up this Dawn but very soon I'm gonna be making my own uh, dishwashing detergent. All right, just a few more things to throw in the dishwasher and we'll be ready to turn it on. All right, just going under my sink to get my dishwasher detergent, my seventh generation. And we're gonna pour some of that in there. Once again, I'm just using this for now until I make my own. Then we're gonna turn this on normal wash and start it up. Now I'm gonna clean out my sink and I am now doing this a much more natural way than the last time you saw me do it. I am now using baking soda vinegar and lemon eucalyptus oil and let me show you how I do it. Okay, first of all, we're gonna go into the laundry room where I now have all of my cleaning supplies and it's a bit of a mess because I am going through a huge overhaul of my home right now. Um, but this is where I'm keeping my essential oils and then a lot of my larger cleaning supplies that can't go underneath the sink. So I have this big bottle of baking soda right here that I'm going to use for cleaning. But right now I'm trying to use up the rest of this little box that I had. So we'll use the rest of that today. Then for my essential oils, I am going to be using lemon eucalyptus this is one of my favorite cleaning oils and it works really well in the sink and then finally i have a bottle of distilled white vinegar i have a large jug of this but i like to keep it in the laundry room and i keep this small bottle here um, in the lazy susan so i can get to it easily whenever i'm cleaning eventually this is going to go under the sink with the other cleaning supplies but right now there's no place for it all right so here's what the sink looks like right now it's not too dirty but it still does need to be cleaned. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some baking soda and the sink is wet. If it was dry, I would have wet it down. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some the rest of that baking soda around in the bottom. Then I'm gonna take a couple drops of the lemon eucalyptus oil and just sprinkle it around and you, this stuff is strong. <laughs> That's my dishwasher. Um, so you have to be really careful. Only use a couple drops of this if you ever use this. It is because the first time I did it, I like overdid it big time and it was like burning my eyes and stuff. So yeah, got to be careful with that. Okay, since I sprinkled a little bit of that around, then I'm going to take my uh, distilled white vinegar and I'm just going to pour it around on the edges so that it doesn't all go down the drain and it starts to like fizz up on that baking soda. Some of it will go down the drain, but that's all right. The drain needs to be clean too. And then I'm gonna take my scrub mommy and I'm gonna start scrubbing away. And I'm just gonna use that baking soda as like a scouring powder. And then the vinegar and essential oil also work to help clean it. Now I have only ever seen that a eucalyptus lemon oil at uh, natural grocers, but you could use either one, either just eucalyptus oil or just lemon oil. Either one would work alone. My camera's starting to get overheated, but um, I'm gonna, I'm determined to get this sink clean before I give it a break. So I just scrub the whole thing and I just kind of take some of the baking soda from the bottom and scrub it up the sides until I feel it's thoroughly cleaned. 
and then we'll take some hot water and rinse it out. And I'm just gonna rinse it all the sides and the bottom. And that gets it very clean and oh my God, it smells so good too. It smells so good in here. And like, it's not perfect. It doesn't get it as clean as like bleach wood. You can still see there's like a brown kind of tint to it, but that doesn't bother me. It's clean. And I will probably just do Barkeeper's Friend like once every week or two weeks just to get the bad spots off. But otherwise, this is how I'm gonna be cleaning my sink from now on. And yeah, it works really well. I'm just gonna rinse out my scrub mommy here. And then if I wanted to dry it, I don't usually dry my sink, I just let it dry. But you can always use one of these Swedish dish towels just to go in afterwards and shine it up, I guess you could say. So there we go, a naturally clean sink and it smells so fantastic. And I also like that the baking soda vinegar and essential oil go down into the garbage disposal and kind of clean that out as well and make it smell good. Okay, y'all, tell me what you think about this idea. So I have a my candle here, my Burn Up Christmas Joy candle. I wanna keep the, the glass container because I'm gonna reuse it whenever I get around to making candles because it's a, it's a really nice glass um, container. But I have all this extra wax in the bottom that I am scraping out and I'm wondering if I couldn't burn that in the wax burner, in the wax melt burner thing. Like, why couldn't I? It's just wax, right? So I think what I might do is put this in a container and when I run out of wax in my wax burner, just put a few clumps of this old wax in there. It's still perfectly good. Let me know if you know of any reason that wouldn't work. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try it. So I found this little glass bowl that has a lid that I never use for anything. So I think I'm gonna use it to store this leftover candle wax. And I'm just going to scrape it out. This is really soft wax because it's uh, coconut. I think it's coconut wax blend is what it says. So it's very easy for me to scrape out. And yeah, I don't see any reason why I couldn't burn this in the wax melter thing. Okay, so there's some recycled wax and I'm just gonna store this in the living room next to the wax burner. So now what I wanna do is one project that I've really been putting off in my kitchen is I have this one cabinet, it's the junk cabinet. You know what I'm talking about? Do you have a cabinet like that or like a drawer in your kitchen where just you throw all your junk? Well, I've got a whole cabinet like that and we really need to clean it out badly because I can't get to anything in there and it's just out of hand. Let me show you what I mean. Dun, 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 dun. There she blows, okay? It's just an absolute mess. So we're gonna clean that out. Oh, and it also used to have these two things in it, but I pulled them out um, so it looks a little, little bit better. Okay, so when I have to clean my cabinet, do you see how high this is above me? <laughs> yeah. People always ask me, are you super short or are your cabinet super tall? And it's both. It's both. Okay, so I have to jump up on the counter. So, oh my God, I hope I don't have to cut this out. All right, y'all, I made it on top of the cabinet somehow. Okay, I almost killed myself. But instead of getting a step stool, I decided I would just jump up here six feet off the ground. Really, really smart decision there, Cindy. Okay, but you can kind of see inside and I'm just gonna pull everything out and try to organize it. So I have my Pyrex measuring glasses, my glass ones. I love these, I use them constantly. I wish I had a slightly bigger size, like a four cup. I'm gonna be on the lookout for a larger one when we start going to estate sales in the spring. I mean, we could technically go to estate sales now. I just haven't been looking for them. And yard sales and stuff. I keep hoping I'll find one at the Goodwill bins, but I haven't yet my cheese grater let's see i've got my uh glass storage containers that we put like leftovers in so i've got a couple of those i've got my corningware dish i don't even know where the lid to it is oh it's like stuffed over here look over here this is what we have going on in this cabinet y'all this is bad this is really bad Okay, so let me grab the lid to that and put that on. That doesn't even go on this shelf. It's just stuff I've been shoving in there because 
I have to get the step stool out anytime I want to like put anything away in here and sometimes I'm just in a hurry so I just cram it all in and then it ends up like this okay this is a tea pitcher that we use for our tea um, here is another glass uh, container for leftovers and stuff I am getting rid of these plastic ones because we have plenty glass ones so I don't even know why I've kept these I'm gonna donate these put that over there in the donate pile here's another large glass container um okay i have these little things that i was using whenever andrew was going out of town to work and i would have to pack him food to take with him i was using these and this was before we went carnivore too so i was using these to make him little bento boxes but i have not used these in months so I think they might be going in the donate pile as well. And I got like um, different shapes and sizes of these. But like I said, we just don't use these anymore. So I'm trying to really go through my stuff and think about what do I need to keep? What do we actually use? And what do I not need? And it kind of hurts me because I am the child of a hoarder. Not my mom. My mom was not a hoarder. My mom liked everything um clean she did not like clutter she did not like knickknacks and stuff all around now i do i like stuff i am a i am a maximalist so i have got to rein myself in or my whole house will be cluttered with stuff um my dad was a hoarder and so was his whole like family on that side of my family so um i have those tendencies within me but i have enough of my mom in me that i can get rid of stuff i don't get emotionally attached to stuff but it also makes me feel guilty you know because i was brought up like you know don't waste anything don't get rid of anything you might use that later you might need that later and then you'll have it that kind of mentality and that stuck with me um, and it's like I almost feel shameful if I bought something and I no longer need it and I have to get rid of it I almost feel shame for that but you shouldn't right sometimes we make mistakes I thought I needed these I didn't so now it's time to pass them on to somebody else who can use them so I'm gonna donate these to the thrift store and I'm gonna let go of that shame and if you have the same feelings let go of it declutter your life organize your life and don't feel bad about it we you know your every purchase you make is not going to be a great purchase like everybody makes mistakes and buys things they don't need we think we need them at the time but we really don't here's another example of that i'm about to show you right now this stupid ass thing i bought this because i really truly believed i was going to drink all this water every day like this was going to help me somehow drink more water did it no it didn't it just got thrown to the back of this cabinet and I've never, I used it like one time. I really didn't like the straw part on it either. And yeah, it just, it just was a bad idea. It was just a bad purchase, but there might be somebody out there who really likes this and uses it. So I'm gonna donate it to the thrift store and we'll see if we can give it another life. And I'm gonna try in the future to not make these kind of purchases. But when I do, I'm not gonna, not gonna shame myself. I'm not gonna let myself feel bad about it. Cause you know, it's just, it's life lessons about learning about life you know you just you just gotta learn as you go and nobody's perfect and anybody who pretends they are is lying okay and then i have this vegetable steamer which i have no use for now but andrew has been telling me that he wants to eat more fruits and vegetables lately so i'm gonna keep this in case he does want me to make him some vegetables so that's the kind of thing that i think is useful enough to keep I don't even know what the hell these things are. I don't even know what the, what even is this? Some kind of shelf thing? I don't, I don't know what that is. Well, they're in the floor now. <laughs> All right, the cabinet is empty and yes, our cabinet does have a an outlet inside of it. I have no idea why anybody would put an outlet inside of a cabinet, but I don't understand anything about why they made this kitchen this way. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna reach back behind me and grab my Swedish dish towel and just wipe this out real quick. I don't think it's really doing any good, but you know, it'll make me feel better at least. Well, 
that looks pretty gross so okay now I'm gonna start putting stuff back in and trying to organize it so I'm gonna put the things in the very back that I don't use as often like this cornmeal dish I rarely use this and actually it goes on top anyway it goes up there anyway so it doesn't even matter okay um, I'm gonna put my coffee press in here which I have not used yet but I am going to use this with my new coffee and I'm just gonna put it over to the side over here um, I'm gonna put these leftover containers over here I use these a lot like almost every day so I want to put them towards the front so I can reach them um, I also use my measuring cups almost every single day so I'm gonna put those in the front so I can reach them this tea jug can go in the back because I use it more infrequently and then same thing with my cheese grater I use it infrequently so it can go closer to the back and then this doesn't even go in that cabinet either and then the uh, vegetable steamer I'll just put it in the back somewhere oh my gosh so much better so here is the after with everything nice and organized in there and easy for me to reach the things that I use on a daily basis oops I just realized I forgot the coffee grinder so I'm also going to keep the coffee grinder in here which once again needs to be cleaned out and we're pretending it doesn't um, and I'm going to put it over on this side there we go perfect now this goes in this cabinet right here which is where my glasses are um, but I also keep as you can see my uh, little glass bowls up there so and my glasses oh that feels good to get something done you know that you've been putting off the way I see it what I try to do is every day I try to do one thing like that even if it's just one cabinet one drawer one area of my house I try to do one extra thing like that every day and just keep things moving you you're never gonna get caught up like that's what I've realized you're never gonna get caught up on your housework like it just it's never-ending it's a never-ending job because you're always gonna be living in your house so places are always gonna be getting cluttered and messy but if you just work on a little bit every day then at least you'll feel like you're making some progress <laughs> I do I feel better from doing that so this basket over here I don't remember if I showed it to you or not but I got it at the Goodwill bins for literally like a couple of cents and I decided I was gonna use it on this table to kind of keep things organized so I, I put our supplements in there and then like my blood sugar monitor is in there and also my herb journal um, so I can all so I can get to that easily these glass containers over here are going to be moved I'm just storing them right there for now I think I'm gonna put them over here where the dead roses are but I gotta clean out the dead roses and that's a project for another day so I am also putting um, like our salt in here and anything that we use at the table so I'm gonna put our fine sea salt and our pepper over here I regularly use pepper but in case Andrew wants it and now our little basket is full so if I want to put anything else in here I gotta take something out that's my rule well y'all I just realized that my cabinets are looking pretty filthy so I have this magic eraser and that's what I use to wipe down my cabinets and get like the fingerprints and like food and stuff that gets on them white cabinets are absolutely the worst I will never again live in a house with white cabinets as long as I live I hate them because they show every little bit of dirt and they get like super grimy I just I don't like it I think it looks bad I guess if you are able to like keep your kitchen super spotless all the time it wouldn't be that bad but I'm not I'm not and I don't like having white cabinets I would like a nice oak cabinet I wouldn't I don't want black either this is just like it's worse than I thought <laughs> yeah I would like um oak cabinets if I could choose you don't want it too light and you don't want it too dark that's that's just my personal opinion I know everybody has their own idea of what they would like but personally yeah this is just this is really it's worse than I thought it has like grease and stuff on it look maybe you can kind of see that I know it's like really bright, bright with the light shining on it but the magic eraser does take it off pretty well but like look when I scrape down look at all this like grease I don't even know dirt dust I don't even know what that is 
So I think what I'm going to do to keep things moving is each time I clean out a cabinet, like I'll go through all my cabinets one at a time. And each one that I clean out, I will then wipe it down with the magic eraser because they all need it. But I don't have time to sit in here scrubbing all the cabinets all night. So I will just do this one at a time. Honestly, I think the last time I did this was a year ago. I think the last time I like, I really scrubbed everything down from top to bottom. I think it was before we went on that vacation to Florida a year ago. Um, I spent like a whole week just deep cleaning the whole house. And uh, yeah, I haven't done it since then. So it needs it bad. I'm going to slowly be working on it one cabinet at a time, y'all. That's the best I can do. It gets really bad, like, around the handles where people touch, you know? People. All these people in my house. I mean, Andrew and I. But you know what I mean. I'm afraid to even know, like, what the top of the cabinets look like up there. There's a freaking spider web on this cabinet. Oh, my God, y'all. Oh, all right. Well scrub it away well i finished but look at my leg i got magic eraser bits all over myself that's great all right that looks a lot better and a lot cleaner i'm gonna try to do because i still have let's see one two three four like five more cabinets so i'll just try to do one a day for the next five days and hopefully i can get them all done that way that's what i like to do just kind of like give myself a little bit to do every day so I don't feel overwhelmed. I'm not like, God, I have five cabinets to clean out and scrub. Like, no, I just have to do one cabinet tomorrow and that's it. And that makes it more manageable for me and I don't feel so overwhelmed. Right now I'm about to go work on my herbalism classes. Um, I'm still in the very first, very beginning part. So I want to get some more progress made on that. Uh, yeah. And I got to cook something for dinner and Andrew will be home in like an hour or so. And also have laundry to fold. So yeah. Gotta go get all that stuff done. So thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit while I cleaned my kitchen and did a few things. Um, honestly, I'm tired of listening to myself talk today because I did a live stream and then made this video and now my like throat's tired and I'm just like, shut up, Cindy. I don't want to listen to myself anymore. <laughs> but I will see you guys with a new vlog very soon. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope you have a great night and I will see you soon. Bye.